So we made it to the site, and uh, I'm really excited. My, Rob, my friend here, says he's found, he found a bunch of buttons and stuff here, right? Yes. Yeah, so he thinks it might have been a little home site right here in this little clearing. He's found a lot of buttons, some of the great big dandy buttons, which would date to uh, like the late 1700s, early 1800s. If you look over here, there's a railroad track. Okay, and that's a Civil War era railroad track, so we could easily find some uh, Civil War relics out here too. So, don't know how long I'm going to last. Uh, you know, a little bit weak still, but we're going to give her a shot. So, let's get to digging. So, I haven't even got my machine out yet, and Rob says he thinks he might have a button. So, let's just watch him for a minute. Have a seat right here on this digger's truck. <laughs> you can always tell a digger when you see him. <laughs> Look how junk. I want to show you the inside of his truck. All right, so what are you using? Uh, e -track. E track okay. I've got uh, 1924. I hear it. Don't keep us in suspense all day. I want to go digging myself. Yeah. Hopefully, it's a big old Confederate button. What do you think? A whole lot of... Can I take a peek? Alright, let's see here. Yeah, I'd say that's a pewter spoon, maybe. Maybe. Feels like pewter to me. Alright, let me grab my stuff and uh, we'll uh, hunt around together some. Rob just reminded me it's Valentine's Day today, so... I forgot to say something to my wife this morning. <laughs> He said it can be my Valentine. I don't know if I like that. Okay, let's get to digging. I'll show you how I'm going to set the AT Max up. We're just going to do a very basic uh, setup, nothing fancy. I'm going to turn it on. I'm going to go down to the zero mode, which is what I like to hunt in. I got zero discrimination. I'm going to crank that up a little bit since Rob says there is a home site here. So let's just put that up to about uh, stage 22. Go ahead and ground balance it, and we should be ready to go. Now we have to find a spot where there's no iron. Yeah, I see a lot of iron in here. So maybe right there, hold the button, ground balance, and watch those numbers. It went from 90 to 84, so that's ground balance now. So we can just start looking around. I'm gonna, let me go ahead and just, uh, lots of sensitivity, not the batteries, what an idiot, that's the battery. Sensitivity's max, I'm gonna drop the discrimination down to zero, just so you can hear it, but I'm not gonna keep it here. All those beeps, that's iron. So it's very, there may be something there we'll come back to, but that's mostly iron that we're hearing. So, and Rob did say he thinks there's a house here because he found a lot of colonial era buttons, so I kind of believe it. I don't see any pottery, but with this amount of iron, as long as it's not fence wire, it would make perfect sense. I'll let you see what the first thing is I get. The first decent signal, we'll dig it together. So what I've done is I've just kind of looked around this area a little bit and I've marked to uh, three or four signals with rocks. So let's just go back there and we'll dig them all together. I guess I should go get my pinpointer. Well, if I need my pinpointer, I'll go get it. But uh, yeah, so I'll let you listen to them and we'll dig them. The first one is right where the shovel is. So let me move the shovel. That's our first signal that sounded pretty decent. Ready? Yeah, so that's that's a very solid signal, 60s, very loud. It's not gonna be very deep. In fact, we might even be able to see it if we dig. The fingers. No, nah, it's buried. Let me get the shovel, and we'll just give it a quick, uh, quick once over. That's I'm sure it's in that dirt now, right there. It's not a really shell. That might be it too. You think that's it? Looks like pewter, maybe. Yes. Yeah, what it? Look at that. That is a pewter spoon. That's part of the bowl right here, and this is the handle. This is a very old design. It's the rat tail design that you've heard me talk about. See right here, it's with a mold mark. It kind of looks like a rat's tail. It would actually go out further if the whole spoon was here. So that's a good find. That's late 1700s, early 1800s probably. A rat tail spoon, this pewter. I have another signal at that rock, and there's one or two more rocks out there. So let's go out there and look. That's a really good sign. That's colonial stuff, pre-Civil War. So. 
I think we're going to find something awesome today. I think Rob's digging a few things too. All right. Let's go look at these other signals. Ooh, probably. <laughs> Jeez. Probably go. Ah, sorry about that. Wait, wait, wait. All right. I don't think we're going to need the uh, pinpointer. So I'll go ahead and cover that back up. I have the discrimination down on 11 now. So I wanted to hear the iron, but let's listen to the signal. And the other signal was over here. There's one there, but let's dig this first before I forget it. <laughs> it does feel good to be out and about again. My pants, though, they all shrunk. Every single pair of my digging pants. Uh, looks like they shrunk about three inches around their waist. Over the past three weeks, it's terrible. I eat too much ice cream. Uh, I see iron, that's not a good sign. Man, that's clay or something. Trying to knock it off the shovel. I think it's it. Might be iron right there. I can't look. It won't even come off the shovel. It won't come off the boot. That's that iron. No, good. Excellent. All right. Get the machine back. It's out of the hole. Kick the shovel out of the way. Boy, that sounds like iron. I think it's iron right there. Piece of pot. Yep. It was just a piece of pot. Uh, it's a kettle. The reason it's giving that good squeak uh, is because of the shape. You can see how smooth that is right there. That's why it was giving that good squeak. Uh, that's a good sign though. Not a good find, but a good sign. I'm going to go ahead and fill the hole in and we'll move to the next signal. Uh, can I see it? Yeah. Oh, that's kind of neat. Don't know what it is. And it's hand forged. Yeah. You know. It's pretty cool. Burly guy like me probably pulls it. <laughs> Yeah, without without uh, heat, right? Um, yeah. All right, this is my signal here by this rock. Where's it? Oh no, what I do? Uh, here's the rock. Okay. You ready? Let's listen to it together. All right, kind of jumping around a little bit, isn't it? All right. Doesn't sound like it's going to be very deep. Yeah, it's another piece of that pot. That's a cooking kettle. Sounded kind of good, didn't it? But it was jumping around a little bit, so I'll be a little bit more reluctant to dig these signals. Although I'll probably dig at least a couple more just to make sure uh, from what I'm, you know, what I'm hearing is true. But that flat iron like that, that's made of that, you know, good cast iron, will sometimes sound good. Well, usually sounds good. Rob's just hanging out on the other side of the truck there, and I'm just working my way through this clearing uh, just to see if I can pick anything up they might have missed over the last, you know, I think it, I think Robin and one of his uh, friends have been hunting out here for a while, so, uh, but there's still some signals around. I have a decent signal here under the shovel. Let me move it to the side, and then we have another one up there by that rock we'll look at in a minute. But first, let's dig this together. I'll try to get it in the shade. You ready? Yeah, just off to the side there. Yeah, it's pretty solid. It's jumping around a little bit, but not too bad. And not too deep. That should be right in there, I would think. Alright, so just get the machine. It's in the side of that uh, clump I just dug. So we've already dug it up. So what I'm just going to do is just grab it with my hand. And do that a few times, and we'll find it this way pretty quick, I think. Yeah, so it's in here. So it was really shallow, wasn't it? It's, it means it's going to be small. Probably in here. Huh? It means I dropped it right in here. <laughs> Jeez. Nah. All right. Don't go anywhere. What happened to it? Where'd it go? I dropped it back in the hole. And again, if I was using both hands, it'd be a lot. I mean, I'd already have it in my bag, but. Since I got the camera on. So it's very small, it's in my hand. You can see some copper looking stuff there. So it's probably a fired bullet. Modern, I would say. Yep, that's exactly what it is. This is a fired modern bullet. Like maybe from a 30 odd six or something. Might be a little smaller than that, but that's a copper jacketed bullet. We'll put that in the bag, cover her up, and we'll scoot over to the next signal which is right up here. Grab 
got my stuff. Yada yada. I scuffed the ground so we could find it again without too much trouble. But <laughs> of course, I don't see it. This is terrible, man. I haven't been digging for about three weeks, though, so I am definitely out of. That might be it right here. See where I scuffed it? So I'll set my stuff down. And we'll listen. You ready? Let's listen. Shh. Yep. So right there, something. It reading. Terrible, terrible numbers, but it has that squeak, so I'm going to go ahead and dig it. Hey, it's a rock. Another rock. Maybe we got it with that, huh? What do you think? Take the machine. New start. Yeah, it's kind of a really weird signal. Very, uh, it's kind of broken up, so I don't have high hopes for it. Sounds like iron right there, didn't it? That's a rock. All right, let's try that again. Yeah, all right, I'm gonna put the camera down for just a minute. All right, so it came out from down beside the rock there. It's in one of these piles and it's iron. At least it sounds like iron now. Yeah, there it is, another piece of that pot. Still pretty exciting for me though. It's a nice old piece of iron. All right, so far we have one spoon and three big chunks of uh, an iron pot. I think we have a pretty decent signal right here. I'm just behind my truck. I'll let you listen to it before I dig it. And we'll see. You ready? Here we go. <laughs> that sounds pretty good, doesn't it? All right, let's see what it is. I should have brought my, uh, I should have brought my tripod. I think I have one, but not for this camera. That would probably make it nicer, wouldn't it? clay or something else. Alright, you ready? I think it's going to be right in there. Yeah, wasn't very deep. And we'll try that one. And we'll try that one. And we'll try this little thing right here. That's what it is. Alright, what do you think? What do you think? A fired bullet maybe? I think it's lead for sure. We'll clean it up a little bit and take a peek. Really, when you clean stuff like this on your pants, you should never use the knee like I am, because that weakens the knee and it'll fall apart right there. The cloth will fall apart. It's usually better if you use an area like this, if you're gonna use anything at all. So, you know, on the side there where it doesn't get a lot of wear. But yeah, that's a fired, um, I think that's a fired bullet probably, more modern though. It might be copper jacketed. Not 100%, we'll have to clean it up some later. Now's the time for digging. Rob's there, he's digging some pretty neat iron pieces. Now I do have a decent signal right here that I don't think is iron this time. So it's really high, 80s, nice solid squeak. So I'm thinking it could be silver, possibly. But I haven't been digging in so long. I don't, I seem to be out of practice right now. All right, let's try it. I don't think it was very deep. Yeah, it's pretty small, whatever it is, and it's right in here, I do believe. So we'll work our way through the pile. There it is. Not silver. Let's make sure that's what it is, yeah. So that's a piece of, uh, yeah, that's another fired bullet. Oh, no. That's a fired modern bullet of some sort. Hmm. Blue. It's kind of strange, isn't it? More blue than green. Soon, soon we're gonna find something really good. Aren't we, Rob? One of us. Oh, yeah. <laughs> he just wants a dig. You don't wanna to listen to me. I don't blame him either. All right, another signal here. Sounds pretty big. We'll see, it might be a big old Civil War belt buckle. Another piece of pot. Don't see it yet. I'm gonna take one more chunk out of this side here. And that should probably get it. Yeah. I would say we'll be able to find it now. Let's shovel to the side. Give her a listen. Shh. Yeah, it's big and it's right in the middle. There we go. Probably should have gloves on, shouldn't I? Hmm. Hmm. Still down there, oh no. 
Yeah, it's right in this area here. It's pretty good size. Might might be a piece of big iron. Uh, that big flat iron that we've been digging. What I'll do is come back to the side just a little bit. There. Oh, we definitely got it in this one. Definitely. Wait, I'm gonna get out of the hole. See it? I don't see it yet. Alright. Uh, still in there, but it's, I think it's moved, so we should be able to get it now. I'm going to be a little careful. Alright, I'll go look for the pen pointer, so this will go quicker, maybe. Alright, another shovel. Start on this side. It might be right in the bottom of the hole, actually. That's probably it. Hear that little squeak noise? Probably iron way down there. Right here we go. That's probably it right there. It's iron. Deep, deep, deep iron. Right next to the railroad track too, so could be something from that. Or a cannon. It's a cannon. There it is. It's a cannon. <laughs> Probably a plate from a uh, the railroad ties. What the railroad ties would sit on. See it right there. I'm gonna go ahead and turn the camera off, and uh, we'll flip it out of the hole. I don't know if you notice, there's some black stuff too in the dirt, and this could be, um, yeah, it's uh, charcoal. So it could be something going on in this hole too. So we'll dig that out and see what it is. Got a weird spike. Twisted spike. Oh, that's cool. Wow, it is twisted, sister. <laughs> that's pretty cool I like that um, I got a big signal down here you can see there's a big chunk of iron I don't know I'm gonna go ahead you know, we'll do you know I'm gonna dig it up but just some charcoal here too so who knows you know, I had some over there when I came out here before I can't remember what I dug up a charcoal or yeah I had some down in there well, that'd be, you know, it's worth checking because that could have been where the house had yeah. or something you know that maybe it burned so all right I'll let you see when we get it out of the hole Okay, so we got it partially out of the hole. And it looks, you think it's a piece of kettle? Ah, it's a hoe! Wow! Look at that bad boy! Oh my god! Look how heavy that thing is. It's got a big old hole in it. I've never, uh, some type of really heavy hoe. I've never really felt one quite that stout either. Ha! <laughs> awesome! <laughs> But you know, the, uh, even more exciting than that, now that's exciting, I love that, I mean, that's a great piece of history right there, is that the hole is full of charcoal. So there might be like a trash dump right here. Hmm? Putting out some fire with that. <laughs> Could be, that's really heavy. Must be a railroad related item, that's too heavy for like uh, tobacco or just farm, you know, a uh, uh, garden, farming like. That's really, really heavy. Nice. Uh, yeah, so if we look in the hole, there's a lot of charcoal in here, and uh, that might be the only thing, but we're going to dig it out a little bit. Let's just listen to it with a metal detector. All right, if I'm going to find it. An oyster shell, is it? No. I don't hear any more iron in there, but we're going to dig it out a little bit with a shovel, and I'm going to see if I actually brought a pinpointer with me. So we can listen to some too, but uh, that's a cool hoe. It made my day. Did it make your day? <laughs> it made my day. <laughs> He's like, yeah, man. <laughs> I went ahead and grabbed the pinpointer, and we'll check that hole out with the pinpointer, see if we can hear any more iron. But we'll definitely dig it out too, because there could be some bottles in there. You never know. Charcoal like that. I don't have a lanyard on this one yet, because this is my spare. All right, let's see what we got. <gasps> iron? Maybe. That could be the uh, soil. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to turn it on down here. No, I think there's more iron in there, deeper. Excellent. Yeah, see all the charcoal? I like that. Maybe what that is, is like a uh, ceramic pot full of gold coins down about another foot. I think that's what it is. Probably at least a hundred of them in there. We're going to find out right now. I'm still digging down toward that signal, and I dug up uh, some glass. It's broken. It's a broken bottle, but it looks like an old one. We'll check it out together. Look. 
Man, I hope I didn't break that. <laughs> I don't think I did. That's an oldie, though. I'm going to have to get my gloves, huh? I, yeah, I better get my gloves. Let's clean it up a little bit first, though. We don't have time for gloves today. See any gold coins in there? Do ya? I don't see any gold coins in there. All right. Yeah, that's a nice oldie. Oh, that's a, that would have been a beauty right there. That would have been a beauty. But there could be a bunch of bottles in here. We don't know yet. I'm going to set that to the side. And um, I see a lot of charcoal. I don't see any oyster shells or anything. But there could be a whole one in there. What do you think? See any? Let's try the pinpointer. I should be getting close to that signal. Yeah, still down here. So something there too something right there and something down here so we're going to keep digging this up i'm going to have to go really slow because i don't want to break any bottles if we find a whole one so what we have so far is i've dug the hole straight down until i hit the natural soil layer which is like a uh, very solid clay i haven't found anything else yet but i think we can go out to the sides but i just wanted to see how deep it was first so if you look in the hole I think this is going to be the natural soil, 98%. We'll dig it a little bit deeper, but you can see there's kind of a line that goes all the way around at that level. But there's charcoal in that other type of uh, soil off on the sides here. So we're going to keep digging this out and digging this out to see if there might be some bottles or other good stuff in there. Do the pinpointer again, just real quick for you. I said, probably dug that piece of iron out. It might be another one in here. Back in there, there's another piece there. Uh, it's probably in this pile here. Yeah, there it is. Well, I don't know if it's iron, but I'm just assuming it was. Yeah, oh, looky, that's a buckle. That is a iron the piece to a shoe buckle. This would have been a colonial era shoe buckle. It would have dated to, well, the late 1700s, probably. That's the piece that goes on the inside, I do believe. Uh, that's the hinge right there, so <laughs> that's really awesome, man. Um, Rob and I were talking about the railroad here. I thought maybe this could have been a camp for the railroad, but I'm pretty sure that railroad was built in like the 1840s, 1850s, which would have been a lot well, decades after these went out of style many decades. So I'm not convinced that's what this is, is the railroad camp. I'm still thinking it might be a colonial home site. <sighs> Let's keep digging. Aluminum. But you don't think it's iron, huh? Yeah. Awesome. Yeah, I, uh, I came over and I'm going to steal the shovel for a little bit because I have to get the overburden off of that hole. And my shovel's a little too small for that. I haven't reloaded my truck yet. So. Alright, gold coin, right? Let's hope. Ah, still buried. That's a smaller shovel than I have. Like. <laughs> He's gonna hit me with that shovel before it's over, aren't you? <laughs> yeah, that's old limestone or something down there. And that's still there. See, they probably put that big old limestone rock on top of those gold coins. It's that bag of gold coins. And you got roots all around it. Yeah, that's what it always is. Come on now, don't disappoint. Wait. <laughs> it's a button. A button. A button. Who's got the button? Nice. Anything on it? Yes. We have a little design, but it's probably mm. not, though. Huh? Mm. Just crew. Well, congratulations. That's the first button of the day, right? Yep. Awesome. Haven't found anything else in that hole. Well, still digging away. Um, a lot of charcoal, but really no other signals. So we'll dig a little bit longer. I'm kind of following it that way. I did get one little piece of pottery. Show it to you, I think it's cream wear. That's about it, really. That's it. <laughs> Piece of bottle there. Well, I'm going to dig this way a little bit more, and I'll let you know how we do. Hopefully, we'll get into a bunch of bottles. I'm going to go ahead and back for the hole. I don't have any more nails. I'm still getting a little charcoal, but it's getting a little bit weaker. 
Hmm. So yeah, let's backfill it. Basically, we just have this one bottle bottom. I mean, the rest of the glass should be in here, so we know we haven't gotten it all. Piece of pottery. I'm gonna put it back in the hole. We might come back here again another day and dig it out a little bit more, but not today. <laughs> Just finished up the hole there and got it covered and I got a good signal right here. Hopefully this will be a lot easier to dig than that hole. Right about there, right in front of the shovel. I don't think it's going to be too awful deep. The roots are going to get in the way though. Alright, get some of this loose out of there. Like that. There we go. Machine. Once it's out of the hole, it's right in this stuff somewhere. So, in here. You see it? There it is. It's a shotgun shell. 12th Georgia. That's a uh, modern shotgun shell. I'll clean it up for you. I'm on the side of my pants. And, uh, Federal. And it says 12 gauge. 12 and then GA. And when we're just funding each other, we say that's the 12th Georgia. So, yep, old truck and chill. It probably wasn't. You almost have to be there when you say the 12th Georgia. Even then, it's not really funny. Still digging a lot of this pot right here. And it's an old one. And this is a great big old cast iron cooking pot. Got a bunch of pieces in the bag, too. Um, I do have a signal over here that I already dug. And I was going to save it and get a couple of them and show you. Uh, what it is. I don't think it's this iron. I think it's a small button or something. I have not seen it yet But I dug it out of this hole and I think it's right in here um, So let's go ahead and see what it is together All right, so it's right there you see it <laughs> There it is if you look right here. I think that's another piece of a pewter spoon and what I'm seeing is this edge right here that's kind of an unnatural smooth edge and then it's flat and because it's flaked right there I'm pretty sure that's just a pewter spoon and that's exactly what it is that is the bowl part it's broken but a bowl part to a very small pewter spoon could have been a coin actually a lot of iron in here and a fairly good number of uh, you know decent signals I got some uh, redware right here Look at that. That's beautiful, isn't it? Some redware. You really, you know, this is the same age as other stuff we're finding. So, yeah, this is pretty exciting. I mean, they got a they got a big bag of buttons out of here, so there might be a coin or two left. I hope. All right. Um, that's where that fire pit was, and I'm working my way up through here, and the iron getting a lot heavier. That's where the pot came from. This area right here looks like there might have been something going on to me. There's a lot of loose rocks here. See there's one here and one there and there's a lot of iron in here so this might be where the house sat or where they dumped their trash. And we're going to find out. So what do you have? No clue. How about a shoe buckle? Piece of a shoe buckle. You say so. I say so. I say so. <laughs> I'm pretty sure that's what it is. It's actually part of a shoe buckle. Let's take a look. Can I take a look? Yeah. Wouldn't looks you say, like a, guys? It looks like it's got a, on the other side. Yeah, it's for like the a little flower type thing on right in yeah, here yeah, in the middle. Design. I think it might be the with a pin one across right here. If you look, I'm pretty sure that's part of a shoe buckle. That would have been you know, almost as big as my hand across. Uh, have you found one a uh, shoe buckle yet? Um, not a uh, colonial. Okay, let me uh, let me show you. This is the an iron piece that would have gone on the inside. Or something like that. This would have been hinged, or is hinged. Eh, that's not going to be a good example, but um, no, that's not a good example. Never mind. <laughs> good sign. Get a whole one. Get a whole one next time. A great big one. They're awesome. Just dug another big piece of a, like the inside of some type of buckle. <laughs> I think that's too big for a shoe buckle though. But that's definitely what the that's the inside of one. That's where it was hinged right here, and where it was swiveled in a hinge, and that's where the cloth would have caught. That's definitely what that is. I see an old hole over here. And uh, look at some charcoal that they dug up. Uh, Rob was saying that they had dug a couple other pits over here and found some charcoal. So we, we might dig this out real quick, see what's here. Might be some treasure. Might be another big trash pit. Of course, that could just be where they burned brush 10 years ago. 
we're gonna find out. Yeah, we are. So what I did is I just dug a little test hole here. It's a little bit of iron, but not a lot, and it kind of turns back into clay. And I saw this area right here, which is kind of depressed. A bit of a hole, so I dug a little test hole there too. Again, there's about a foot layer with some charcoal in it, but not a lot of signal, so we're going to cover those back up and keep searching. This is one of those too good of signals. And I wasn't even going to turn the camera on because I figured it was just a shotgun shell or, not, or a rifle casing on the surface. But it's a little bit deeper than that, so I figured I'd get the camera out just in case it's a big old large scent. Is it? Should be in there, I hope. Ah, it's a piece of that pot. Ay. Whew. That's a weird piece right there. I don't know what that's all about. I've never seen one quite like that. Huh, weird. Alright. Hey. So I moved over here near the railroad track because I thought I heard a train coming. And there I do hear one in the distance. I got a big signal there and I dug down. And it's another giant piece of pot. Ah. That stuff is scattered everywhere in here. I'm a good hundred yards from where I was digging this or the other pieces. We'll look right around the railroad tracks a little bit. The train comes, we'll get a quick shot of it, and then we're gonna go back to where there's a lot of iron. That's strange, there's an awful lot of this stuff. I mean, it's, there's a lot of it in here. I think we have a bullet. That might be a Civil War era bullet right there. It's fired, looks like it's got a, kind of smushed on the side. What do you think? Maybe an Enfield. Yep, that's what it is. That's a fired Confederate Civil War era bullet. Isn't that neat? You can see the rifling grooves on it right there. That line and that line is part of the grooves. Probably has a boxwood plug. I don't feel it. I just feel mud, so maybe not. I'll go ahead and clean the base out just a little bit. I want to show you something. When you find these Enfield bullets like this, you need to be really careful because they often have a wooden plug in the bottom. And so when you're digging the mud out, if you hit something that's a little bit hard, stop digging it and just let it sit out in the sun for a few days. And if it has a boxwood plug, which is a wood plug, the plug will shrink a little bit and you can pull it right out and save it. And then what you do is you look in the bottom. If it's flat, often it'll have numbers or designs in them. And you can tell where they were made. Now I think this one actually says 57, although I'm not positive because my eyes aren't that great. Which is, uh, which that would denote probably the uh, caliber, 57 caliber. But a lot of times you'll find them with uh, other designs or numbers or letters in them. And you can trace that right back to the factory in uh, Great Britain that made them. So, they're pretty interesting finds because they're, they're, there's so many different kinds you can collect. But I'm pretty sure that's 57. Hope you could see that. I think the train's getting closer. It's been like a half an hour though, so I moved away from the track. So I heard the cry of roundness. What does that mean, pray tell? <gasps> That's a coin. Roundness. Absolutely a coin. Nice thick one too. It's cool, man. Congratulations. That's a good old colonial coin. That sounded pretty sad. <laughs> I'll get back with you in a minute. We'll take a look at this coin. So how's she looking? Looking good. 1803. Oh, wow, that's a beauty. Look at that. That's going to clean up really nice. Yeah, that is nice. Congratulations. Thank you. you get, I mean, it's got a lot of detail yeah, on it. Yeah, it does. Yeah, definitely be careful with that bad boy. Yeah. <laughs> All right, man. That's awesome. Should we be like the, the Hoover boys and kiss Lady Liberty? <laughs> there you go. <laughs> Oh, he didn't get worms from the soil. Oh. <laughs> Might have. I know. I've been reading in the news of all these uh, people getting worms out of their eyes. Zombies. Did you read that? Yeah, they're I like, this one, one girl had a, a fly landed on her eye from around cattle and laid eggs. And a little bit later, they started hatching her, like little maggots on her eye. And she was like pulling them out and stuff like this. She got like a dozen out of them off her eye. Nasty. It's disgusting. That's what you're gonna have, except it's gonna be in your yeah, belly. My, my it's in your belly. <laughs> Big old tape worm. <laughs> That's where he just dug his coin. I came over here, and we have a decent signal. I don't think it's a coin signal though, but it's probably out of the hole, or at least out in the loose dirt here. Maybe it's a button. All right, you ready? <laughs> Pin pointer. Nope. Yep. So it's out of the hole. What is it? Do you see it? Oh, 
it's a shotgun shell. Be quiet, you. Yeah, another shotgun shell. 12th Georgia. Oh boy. <laughs> We're saving up for the big find, the big gold coin. I think he would kill me if I found one. I have it out of the hole. Definitely sounds interesting, so let's see what it is. Hopefully it's not another shotgun shell. Pretty small, isn't it? What is it? Can you see? I think it's a fired bullet. <laughs> it's not a fired modern bullet. <laughs> oh well, I'm not complaining. <laughs> Doesn't do any good anyway. So I kind of like worked my way over here to where I found that coin. Yeah, and it has some roundness there. That's definitely old. I don't know if it's a coin. It might just be a button. Yeah, it might be a coin. It's almost like a five cent pick. No, it's a button. And you can see that uh, it's got a weird design on it. And like a hash mark. Or a, mm -hmm, like a basket weave design. So that's going to be a button. There'll be a shank on the back right here. You can see right there it's a little bit rough. That's where the uh, eyelet was. Thread it on. We're just going to wipe it a little bit on the pants. On the seam, not on the knee. And uh, yeah, it's a pretty little button. Yeah, early 1800s probably. Nice. I feel guilty. Not really, but I feel like I should probably say that since I'm over next to him now. <laughs> so I decided to come back over here toward the clearing and hunt this other side. And I have roundness in the hole. <laughs> it's a big old button right there. You see it? That's a big old dandy button. What we call a dandy button. Would date from the late 1700s probably. There's a shank on the back. Just a giant old button. Isn't it? Wow. Beautiful. Usually these don't have a design on them. Well, sometimes they do, but they usually don't. They were just been silver plated. I'll clean it off on my pants pocket just a little bit. It's just a plain uh, dandy button, but it is a big one. Late 1700s. I don't know, it looks almost like it has a design on it, but I figure that might just be corrosion. We'll clean it up a little bit and look at it at the end of the day. Just dug a thimble. This would, you know, for sewing. That would go on the tip of the finger so that you could sew and not get needles under your fingernail. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good little find. Tells us we're probably on the home site. See the little dimples in the end there to catch the needle so it wouldn't slide off. That's pretty cool, huh? Got a really nice high squeak here. I dug it out of a hole, that hole right there. And it, man, it sounds like silver, doesn't it? I'm not reading quite high enough, but it's, it sounds like it's really good. <gasps> there it is. What is it? It's roundness. That's either a button or like a half cent. Yeah, I think that's a coin, isn't it? It's really small. Yeah. Okay, cover your eyes because I'm going to wipe it on my pants. <laughs> I think it's a little coin. Probably a half cent. Uh, I'm going to clean it up a little bit and then we'll come back and look at it, okay? You yeah, can see a little bit of a bust right there. I'm pretty sure that's a half cent right there. My eyes aren't really great. Looks like a donkey on there, but I don't think that is. The front, I can't read the date, but I think we'll be able to get the date off of it with a little more scratching. I just use my fingernail a little bit, and I definitely don't want to put water on there, because you know what happens to them once you put water on them, but we'll get that cleaned up a little bit, and um, we'll look at it in the roundup, which should be coming up pretty soon. Nice little squeaker here. I'm thinking that could be a coin. Haven't dug it out yet, but we're gonna dig it out together. Might just be a button too. That sounded kind of like a coin to me. Hmm. All right, it's right near. It's pretty small. All right. Right there, probably. Is that it? Maybe a little piece of brass. Yeah, that's what it is. Oh, it's part of that shoe buckle. 
Find lots of little pieces of this shoe buckle. This little piece of brass. That's the corner of it right there. So that's why it sounded so good. And well, next one, diamond encrusted gold coin. That's next. So I'm back at the pit that I dug earlier today, and I got a little signal right here, and it is a pewter cufflink. See a little chain on it? <laughs> Like a foot away from that hole I was digging. Pretty fragile. I need to be careful with it. Pretty cool, huh? Uh, you know what a cuff link is, right? It'll go on your cuffs. There'd be another one just like it. And it'll hold them together. You know, a sleeve on your uh, shirt. Well, we're going to call it quits for the day. It's 4.15. All right. Yep. Four fifteen. Don't, don't like you at an auction. Yep. <laughs> so we're gonna call it quits for the day. I want to show you the finds real quick. I think this is probably the nicest one right here. What did you say the date was on that? Eighteen uh, eighteen oh three. Eighteen oh three. Let me give you a quick uh, close up of that. And here's a close up of that one. And the back's pretty decent too, but you didn't want to clean it up too much while we're out here in the field. a close-up of mine that half cent that I found I can't read the date it's pretty smooth on the other side but I don't want to clean it anymore right now and uh, maybe when we get home we'll clean it some to give you an overview we have a bunch of nails and pieces of shoe buckles and fired modern bullets thought that was a button but I think that's just a fired modern bullet and I have a bunch of junk too, a bunch of fired modern bullets and some shotgun shells. You saw me dig a few of those. This is a really cool piece here. I've never seen a hoe that heavy. Maybe it's not a hoe, maybe it's some type of woodworking thing, maybe? Tractor... No, this is pretty old. If you guys know what this is, please let me know because I really don't have any clue on that. But I suspect it's the same age as the rest of this stuff, you know, the early 1800s late 1700s lots of pieces of pot out there this is the, the side of a giant cooking kettle and this is the leg to a giant cooking kettle and this is the lip to a giant cooking kettle <laughs> so this probably all went together at one time and lots of little odds and ends here this is a little brass buckle you can see where there was a uh, hinged piece right on the inside and it's kind of bent up that almost looks like the side piece to a plate on a musket, but don't quote me on that. And these little pieces of shoe buckle. Should have been more of these out there. Uh, this is that little cuff link that I found. It's pewter. It's falling apart. One end field bullet from the Civil War with a 57 on the inside. Rat tail spoon. A few buttons. That one's missing the shank, but it's got a nice design on it and a big dandy button there. I think this is the inside to a shoe buckle. And this is the... Uh, inside to a buckle as well. Another flat button, flat button, that's the um, thimble that I showed you earlier. One piece of redware that I saved and uh, a couple iron buckles. It was a good day. It was. Yeah, I had fun. I really appreciate you inviting me out here. Thanks for coming out. Yeah, and you do woodwork, right? Yeah. What's your website? It's uh, Meredith Woodworking. It's on Facebook. On Facebook? Yeah. Okay, yeah, I'll put a link. I'll go ahead and throw a link in the video description if you want to check it out. So. Uh, but yeah, we did good. This is a little spot and there's lots of little holes up there now. Looks <laughs> like the gophers were around, but we filled them all in. All right, we'll see you on the next one. We're going to have some more adventures. Now the spring's here finally and the ground's thawed. Hope you enjoyed this one. I sure did. She'll shake the coins from your pocket, take your gold chain and your locket. Mother Earth has no sympathy. She'll take the ring from your hand and bury it in the sand and keep it for return.